one thing that I found <clears throat> fascinating, having run large R&D teams for Zimmer and ConMed and Stryker over the years, is that the OEM seemed to be outsourcing a significant amount of their new products. So just like who you have to partner with now, it's like traditionally if we wanted to do something with you know, like my last company, ConMed, we would we would work with our D team, we'd work with, and we would develop a product. What it seems to be happening right now is that these companies have these massive R and D teams, and they're strictly focused on sustaining engineering, remediation for FDA. And they're not really innovating anymore. So it's it, it's had the effect on us is we have to like broaden our aperture of who our customer is, and so we're having to partner with design firms, we're having to partner with startups who are then selling those things to like the J&Js or the Simbers. And it's been, it's been pretty wild because it's like, you have 250 design engineers, why, why aren't they designing something, right? Uh, so that's been a pretty remarkable development that I think has really just accelerated over the last few years. And like, you know, one of the things that Tiber Medical did really well was they, they did that and the contract manufacturing. So it's been, as we constantly re-examine our business model, that's something that we're, you know, keeping front of mind is, is this going to be a long-term trend from the OEMs?